Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Heroes Trails of Zero. Last time, we were, uh, trying to figure out who this kitty hacker is, and apparently, she's been discovered. So, we gotta go and, uh, help out Jonah to try to find out who this kitty is, or try to stop them. Oh. What do you mean? I thought that's what you wanted us to do. Oh! Oh, wow. She's, uh, pretty good, isn't she? Whoa. Is that kitty? Is kitty, like, on fire or something? What's going on here? <laughs> well, maybe she's a better hacker than you are. Oh. Yeah, you just gotta do your best. How are you able to track people on the internet like this? Is this, like, really how hacking works? I wouldn't think so. Like, this seems pretty ridiculous to me. That on the internet people can move around like this, like... I don't know. Can you just, like, type some code or something and lock down our IP address? Has he spit himself into, like, three little Kirbys or something flying after Kitty here? Oh, you're just really good with computers, then. Aeon? What exactly is Aeon? Is Aeon Kitty? Oh. Okay, kind of trap her in the website that she's at? Hmm. But again, what does it really matter? She's not even done anything to you. Like, this is the dumbest thing I've seen so far. I've seen some dumb things in JRPGs before. <laughs> Whoa, what now? Oh, did you catch her? Your little Pac-Man thing got, got her? Oh, well, good. That was easy enough. Wait, are you okay? Oh. Huh. So you really aren't human, are you? I don't know. She said something earlier about how she was like a cyborg or something. But then again, she also talked about her parents. I'm not entirely sure. Something was lost in translation there. Oh, Yeah, it's not like Guy can fulfill it. You know, he's kind of dead. Oh, what a sweet guy. <laughs> okay, that's one way to put it, Lloyd. I think that you're pretty up there, though. You're a pretty good guy. So is your brother. Oh, really? How are they nothing alike? They seem pretty alike to me. Both, you know, wanting to do their best, you know, trying to... You know, be good, they're both cops, they're both, you know, working for other people, they're both selfless. You know, they seem nice to me. Well, 
Well, yeah, you don't want them to be the same, but they're similar. talking about to you oh oh I see what she's saying she's saying she doesn't want Lloyd to promise to protect her out of you know memory of her brother she wants Lloyd to protect her because he wants to like make it be his own promise not just piggybacking off of guy's promise you're 14 you're still a child Yeah, I guess. How a 14-year-old got hired as at the police department is beyond me, but hey, whatever. It's a JRPG. Who knows? Shouldn't think about this too hard. Oh? Really, all this time she's never smiled? Huh. I don't know how you confuse smiling and exhaustion. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with showing some emotion. Oh. <laughs> oh, I kind of forgot that you were there, Jonah. Yeah. Maybe he hacked into our telephone here? Oh, so just recently. <laughs> I kind of think that Jonah and Tio like each other. They're kind of flirting with each other here. Well, she's done it before. Yeah, uh, who is it? Oh. Okay. Just text it to us or something? Send it to an email? What do you mean? You probably shouldn't open attachments from people that you don't know, Tio. Is this Kitty? Oh, great. So now she's hacked us. This is just lovely. Oh, yeah, maybe it is a false address. <laughs> oh, so you think that you got the right addresses? Is he actually talking about like a physical address, like her home address? Or some sort of like IP address? I'm not entirely sure. But I don't really know much about computers in general, so pff, beats me. Yeah, get on out of here. Oh yeah, I wonder what's uh, in that quartz. Forgot all about that. Yeah, no kidding, I was kind of shocked by your revelation earlier, Tio. About how, you know, you knew Guy and all that. Oh, how convenient. Why didn't we just activate that and take it down in the first place? But that would have been, you know, far too easy. We can't have easy in a JRPG, which makes make things as complicated as humanly possible. So, yeah, let's get on out of here, and now we can head on over towards the left and use that emergency elevator. Let's see. Yeah, if you missed last episode, you missed a lot. A lot of character development between uh, Tio and Lloyd. It was a really good uh, reveal. Basically, Guy knew Tio for quite some time. Um, apparently, Tio was the girl that Guy had to protect way on back when, whenever he left uh, Lloyd about, like, 
three years ago or so. And then Guy, you know, died. So, kind of crummy, but hey, it's some good of a development there. Oh. What's wrong, Tio? You okay? Oh. Okay. Yeah, no kidding. The Rosenberg Studio? Wait, is that that doll maker? Yeah, we saw that a while ago. Back in, like, chapter, what, two, I think? Maybe chapter one, even. That's whenever we uh, ran into Renee. She said that that was her grandfather. Maybe Kitty actually is Renee. Is Renee really good with computers, though? I don't think that she ever really mentioned computers or anything else like that back in uh, Trails in the Sky. But she did have Pater Mater, and Pater Mater is kind of a robot, so maybe she's good with computers? I don't know. Oh, so the Orbital Network isn't even at that studio yet. It's just here and at the hospital. Oh, and at the, uh, Michelin. Huh. Okay, so basically you could use telephones in the other villages and other outskirt places, but in order to use their internet, you have to be in various specific places. The hospital here or Michelin. Yeah, that is interesting, isn't it? Huh. Oh, quit your crying, Jonah. Yeah, gives her a uh, quartz. Oh, it's information about Ravash. Hey, hey, awesome. Yeah, totally. Thanks. Oh, so you think that we already know all the information in here. Thanks a lot. Oh, but it's just stuff that nobody ever tells us, as usual. <laughs> Is he just gonna, like, throw a temper tantrum right now? Like, seriously? Come on now. Isn't this kid supposed to be, like, 13 years old? He's acting like a two-year-old. Ugh. Get up. What's your problem? <laughs> this loser. Wait, what? What? A voracious guy? That means a person with a big appetite with a real life, is pretending to be an herbivore? Younger brother? Like, so he has a voracious appetite, but he's a vegan? What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, um, I don't really know either, Lloyd. I'm kind of confused, too. Oh. Well, not really a date, but I guess so. We spent time with her. But I wouldn't call it a date. Well, yeah. Oh, so Joan is just jealous of Lloyd and how he's such a little lady killer. But Joan is still a kid. <laughs> so what now? Can we look at the courts? See what's going on? Oh, guess so we can. Hey. Oh, sweet. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, sure. Why not? And there's a lot of reading here, so I'm just gonna let you guys read in peace during the end slate. And next time on Let's Play The Legend Heroes Trails of Zero, we're going to, uh, discuss the results of this quartz and, uh, see what we can't do about it, see if we can stop Ravash. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.